Okay, this is just a very quick video to show the. Um, I've just played around with the lighting a bit in this scene, and it's just a quick video to show how I've set it up. So, first of all, I've set up my time of day a little bit, and just essentially just made the everything a bit more intense, a bit more blue, and make it kind of a nice, vivid. Um, look with a very kind of intense sun. So inside I've added some, I've played with these light beams, these kind of light shafts, whatever you want to call them a bit, to make them kind of a bit more blue and just soften them down a bit. Then I've added a very intense HDR light just right into those skylights that's kind of projecting on the floor and kind of giving a, a look that the beams of light are hitting the floor. So I'll just turn that off so you can see it on and off. Um, you can also see that it's, it's kind of almost bleaching out this area in here a bit. So I've given that a bit of a blue colour um, as it's a skylight and then I've added another light underneath that's a very large radius light so that's what's actually kind of lighting the, the whole room up, one of these on each side. And I've given that a bit of a yellow tint because the the light in here will be bouncing around and hitting these yellow walls so as it kind of bounces around and hits these yellow walls it's going to be picking up a bit of that a bit of the colour off those walls so I've just given it a, a very slight yellow light to kind of fake that done exactly the same on this side and then just in front of the entrance um, again there's a large radius light just kind of fill out the the colour or fill out the, the light in the room and then again I've added a, a a very strong HDR light that's I've just moved this just far enough to be not casting on this wall with the door um, and this is just to kind of make it look as though the light is bleach um, well kind of shaft of light is coming in and filling out this area a bit. So I could probably make that a bit bigger actually and bring it out a bit more. Um, but that's the general idea. These areas, a lot of these bits that are not looking very nice there in the corners, that will all go away once this is properly UV'd and textured. Or at least it should do. Um, so what else? I think the only other thing that I've done is on the material, not that material, but that material, I've just added a tiny bit of spec into it, again with a very slight yellowish colour and just increase increase the glossiness of that to um, to what looked about right so you can see as I increase and decrease the gloss I'll get that look that's what's um, you can see with those errors where the UVs aren't properly set up um, so yeah, I just set the gloss to kind of what I thought looked about right for stone I mean I guess if this was like shiny polished stone then it might be quite nice high up like that but um, I, I mean I think somewhere quite low out like that so that's it that's the that's how I've set the lights in here